Hello everyone, this is Red with RedDragonLeo.com and looks like we went up again today as they pounded the dollar down more again. It's just pretty uh, relentless, just time and time again. The gangsters just keep tanking the dollar, stealing our money. I had uh, read somewhere where we are down 10% uh, uh, on the dollar just since basically um, June, July area, as you can see. And um, from $88 there down to 76 So basically, just back in June, your $100 versus today would only buy $90 worth of uh, buying power. And uh, the American consumer just doesn't uh, seem to know that that's going on. And that's very, very frustrating that, uh, you know, price of stuff is going up everywhere. And uh, so as they just keep beating down the dollar. Um, but I do think we're going to rebound here. At least uh, tomorrow is looking like it should be a, a, um, a down day. Now, I don't know if it's just going to be a one-day wonder or or what but if we look here at the 15 minute chart you can uh, see that it's um, it's pretty much overbought here I'm sorry oversold here we're getting down there on the on the uh, full stochastics right there so I think that's gonna hook up tomorrow morning and run back up and put in a lower tower same thing here I think it's gonna run back up and put in a lower tower so what would happen here is it would just kind of just kind of work its way, you know, back back down, pointing down. And I think this is going to happen in the morning. That's what's probably going to happen. The uh, jobs data, I guess, is out tomorrow, Thursday. Part of it is. Um, I think that's out tomorrow. Let's see here. Uh, no, 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 not jobs. Okay, CPI, core CPI. Um, nope, sorry, PPI, continuing claims, yeah, initial claims, that's right. Okay, so that's out uh, tomorrow. So, uh, of course, I think they'll fudge that as usual, or even if they don't fudge it, the market uh, will react probably positive. And uh, I suspect then what's going to happen is, while this 15-minute chart is running up and putting in a smaller tower here, um, it'll be the same thing here on the 5-minute chart. See, the 5-minute chart's pretty oversold as well. So I kind of expect it to kind of turn back up and kind of work its way back down. So roll back up here on the market. Um, same thing here. Roll back up on your 5-minute and your and your 15 minute chart and while it does that the 60 minute chart here should start to put in a lower histogram tower um, making a negative divergence it's already got a negative divergence right here but you know we all know that uh, the charts hadn't been really working very good simply because of the manipulation by them pounding the dollar down constantly you know they just keep pounding it down and so but I think at some point they've got to get back to work and the charts do. Um, so this has just been going on for quite a while. So I think we will see a down day tomorrow. I don't know about Friday yet, but uh, if we look here at the weekly chart, there's, or I'm sorry, the daily chart, if we see a down day tomorrow, maybe it'll touch and maybe we'll, we'll get a start of a down uh, move going in the next week. I'm not holding my breath for that because you know, the, the market's just so manipulated. It might just be a one or two day wonder. Might be maybe we'll get uh, you know a day just like that. I don't know. And then then uh, but I know that um, we need to sell off some. Certainly, maybe it goes down here, fills this gap. Okay, and uh, that would break that trend line. And maybe then that's it. Then that's back off to the right. I don't think. I don't know if it's going to do that all tomorrow. I'm just saying maybe even tomorrow and uh, maybe Friday or something. It does that, and then it's back off to the races again next week. 
the government's lined up uh, plenty of uh, POMO dates scheduled out between now and election November 2nd to uh, kind of keep pumping this market and push it on up. Um, so now I also had uh, a, a fake print sent to me showing 1190 as a fake print and um, that was emailed to me. So um, thanks for emailing that to me. So I appreciate that. But uh, so 1190 very well could be our top or temporary top before it rolls over. I just I don't know how far it's going to roll over. Is it, you know is this going to like dip down here just a little bit? Maybe go down for maybe uh, tomorrow, maybe Friday, maybe a little bit next week, and then recycle back up again. Uh, that's possible, you know, because I, I still think that they're going to go up here and hit that fake print uh, of the diamond. 118.16 that's about 11,800 on the Dow and I'm estimating it to be between 1260 and 1280 here on the SP, SPX but I don't know you know the SPX could stall and the Dow could keep right on running and, and the Dow could go up to 11,800 and maybe the SPX only goes up and makes a double top you know that's possible too or maybe but I seriously doubt it's going to stop at a double top. I, I really think that uh, if it gets up there, it's it's going to pierce it to take out the overhead stops. And when you do that, that's going to cause a um, short squeeze, which will propel it on up to the 1260 to 1280 area pretty easily. So, uh, but as for tomorrow, just at least a short term, I, I expect a down day. So I'm looking at, just based upon look at these charts, to me, it tells me it's going to roll back up in the morning on the, uh, the numbers. Um, they'll be manipulated, and or they'll just be ignored, whatever. The market will shake them off. They'll pump some money in it, and it will, uh, and it should run it back up. But into the close... Uh, I do think that we're going to sell off into the close of the last half of the day. I think the day, the day will be negative for the day uh, tomorrow. Don't know about Friday. Uh, don't don't know at this point anything about Friday. It all depends on what mar tomorrow does. So we just have to take that one day at a time. But uh, certainly the dollar it, it's you know it's not looking good, as, and the dollar is inverse the market. So as long as they keep beating this dollar down, the market's going to keep attempting to, to rally up as they uh, not only beat the dollar down but pump you know pump uh, more of that POMO money into the market um, you can see it's wanting to come up as it's uh, you know going up on here um, get trying to get up to the zero level to go positive on the histogram tower but it's failed this whole way and now it's just kind of bottoming and, and you know you could actually call that a a bear flag, especially if it keeps on going out like this, which would cause it to fall again. So, so basically, this would, as it works its way up, it would the market or the dollar could keep falling. It could go on down to here, and that would support a move up to the again 11,800 fake print area. But that doesn't mean it can't bounce a little for a few days here, maybe go up a little bit or a day or something, give us some type of sell off brief it may be but uh, some type of sell-off on the market overall um, and uh, so the same thing here on Cobra's chart you can see kind of same similar pattern you, you go up you fall down you, you make a, a jump up then you sell off that's kind of what I'm expecting today I think we're about right here so basically I think it's going to run up on the 15 minute chart and the 5 minute chart it runs up as that 60 minute chart slowly starts to sell down and then once the 5 and 15 and 60 are all basically in over, overbought territory then it rolls back down and puts in one of these down moves like this and that's exactly what it should do here it's, it did it here same thing As you can see it kind of went up it rolled down and that's about where we are right here 
today it's kind of similar and then in the morning it run up didn't go too high but the 60 minute and or, or the uh, five minute and 15 minute i imagine went up here until they got overbought with the 60 then once all three of them got overbought we had a nice little decent move down um which that's about i don't know 15 20 points on the spx or something like that 115 down to almost 113 it's almost 20 points i remember that and then they reversed it hard the next day because they were all oversold. Well, we can do the exact same thing. I mean, literally, it, it can be exactly like that. In the morning, it, it, it could simply just run up with the 5 and the 15-minute chart until they get overbought. So, again, we're, what we're looking for here is um, we're looking for this to roll back up, look for this histogram tower to run up here and get overbought. Not as high as this one, but to get overbought to get ready to roll over. Uh, at the same time it's doing that on the five minute, the 15 minute should do the same thing. Run up, get overbought, and get ready to roll over. And when that happens, the 60 is, I don't believe the 60 is going to go down and get under and under zero. I think it's just going to run up and, and, and put in a second hump here, a second uh, tower. Kind of similar to over here. Oh, obviously, this was not as high, but as it's rolling over, it goes back up and does one of these. Now, when it gets to that point and towards the later half of the day, towards the end of the day, that's when I think it will sell off and end up being a negative day. And then it should continue into Friday. It obviously depends on how fast it falls it falls down. I don't think it's going to be big, but it should continue into Friday. And then they'll rally it Friday afternoon after it gets uh, oversold. They should rally it maybe a little bit on Friday into the close to pin the stock pin the spy wherever they want to pin it that makes you know the most money now will it will friday be a positive day i don't know it depends on how far down they go um off the 60 i mean it could go down and come right back and end up flat so that's that's a possibility but i do believe tomorrow will be a down day for some of you bears that want to try and you know make a quick buck but i, I don't know that we're ready to roll over and die yet I really want to see that fake print hit, um, and it could be November 2nd for it's hit. I mean, it could be Election Day. It really could. Uh, that would just be incredible if Election Day was the day that we hit that diamond 118.16 print, about, like I said, about 11,800. So where that matches up with the SPX, I don't know. Again, the SPX should be between 1260 and 1280 but it could lag behind that's just that's just a guess okay so look at a cobra's chart here on the spy one thing that does stand out is that we on the um that the spy has went up and pierced through and closed actually just a hair above um the bollinger bands here which should lead to a pullback it's done it many times before it did it over here it pierced it, didn't close on it, and then it ended up closing down on the day. So I think tomorrow's going to be a down day. I, uh, you know, I'm not going to say I'm 100% confident because they manipulate this, but and uh, I've ate mud enough times. But looking at the charts again, that they don't usually work. But looking at the charts, it tells me tomorrow will be a down day. Should be up a little in the morning, and. Um, Maybe go up as high as we are again, retest them, maybe go a little higher, uh, and then um, and then back down. Here on Cobra's other chart, on his VIX chart, he's showing this, uh, <clears throat> what's happened afterwards. Whenever you get a, um, a, a reversal count, bullish reversal bars here, as you can see, it w pretty much did go up for a few days afterwards, and that's kind of what I'm expecting again. I, I think it's going to be down into Friday as well um, you know but we'll take it one day at a time for now let's not get too overconfident uh, the bears have been destroyed here lately so again if we're looking at this right here um, we could chug a log and, and back test put another double top maybe even pierce up a little higher maybe get that fake print that was sent to me and hit 1190 you know and if it does that then then that would be a good shorting opportunity. Um, so 1184, 1190, you know, even number play, whatever. So, okay, gang, see ya.
Later. Good luck, everybody.